seeing us remove a massive ice dam from the roof with our Arctic steamer machine. questions we can answer them while you're here. Thanks George for sharing the video. second mark I'll have the answer for you gonna ask the expert this is hooked up to a, uh, a big rig we'll explain it to you in just one moment there we go Uh, a thermostat on that that lets us determine
determine the uh, the heat, and generally we run at about 290 degrees. Awesome. JC wants to know what the difference is between doing this and using his hammer. A hammer, a hammer is going to cause damage, no doubt. Um, you're, you're taking impact to the ice. You're not releasing it from the asphalt shingle or metal roofing. So if you have metal, you're going to dent it. You're going to take away uh, the coating. With any asphalt shingles, you're going to be taking away the, the pebble surface and actually really reducing the life of those shingles. If you guys are liking this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. Save everybody some roof damage. worth 
mentioning is uh, you know there are a lot of companies that will come out and use like a hot pressure washer and it's really important to know the difference between a steamer and a hot pressure washer. So that pressure washer will actually cut into the shingles and do some significant damage. Um, and one of the easiest ways to tell is whether it's a steamer or a pressure washer is if the wand itself has a trigger. If there is a stop and go trigger on that wand, it's a pressure washer. It's going to use, no matter how hot the water is, it's going to be using a high pressure that can do damage to your roofing materials. Mm -hmm. Where a steamer, the wand never has a trigger on it. So if you see the handle that they're holding, there is there is no trigger. It's, okay. a, it's a steamer, it's a dedicated piece of machinery for this purpose. Mm -hmm. um, just in our own test, I mean, we saw stuff online and wanted to you know, put it to the challenge ourselves. We took that at about three inches away from the vinyl decaling of an older truck and it didn't, it would not strip it at all, no matter just holding it on it, it, uh, it did no damage. Leonard wants to know how much water is coming out. I believe uh, it's rated between two and three gallons, uh, I think an hour. It's, it's actually a pretty, it might be actually four or five, but it, it's, a, it's a pretty low volume considering uh, what's coming out. Now, if you look at the end of the wand um, when it's not working, it's basically a big cloud of steam coming out. There is a, a, a slow stream of droplets of water that fall from the wand. The rest of it is steam. It, it looks like a lot more volume than what is actually being uh, produced. here we are removing an ice dam in Brunswick with our Arctic steamer. everyone.